Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel and today we're on Angels Season 3 Episode 19. We've had a lot of Angels back to back here now, <laughs> uh, but it's been really good. The, the episodes have really like bumped up and uh, held my interest. So let's roll that intro and get stuck into another one. Here we go. Angel. He's got quite feminine hands, does our angel, considering he's a fighter. Pomegranate mist is the wrong color for this room. <laughs> what? We were just thinking. Look at the cute little pigtails. I don't know why I bought this for. Because it's got a cute tune. We're neglecting our cases. Um, angel, we don't have any cases. None at all. That's weird. Somebody ought to be downstairs in case a walk in should walk in. We get those sometimes. Except today. Hello? Angel Investigations? Is it going to morph? It looks like it's on green screen. Look, unless you want me to take my business elsewhere. What in the rook? Probably couldn't find my dog any. Eh, no, why do things always have to crawl in mouths? Or eyes. We have to go. Huh? What? Oh, the pentagram. Look, don't worry about that. That's that's an old case. I'm totally here to give you my full attention. And your bugs or parasite looking things as well, apparently. Hey, when do we get the statue for the lobby? Oh, it's just you. <laughs> We've never really talked about everything that happened while I was away. Thank you. Please do that now. Stuff we do in the past usually comes back to bite us in our respective ass. Yes. Damn it, Cordelia, you got me talking about this. It's needed. I could have done something. Yep. She could. She could. What makes you so sure? You took away that option. Something to warn us. Oh, plus, I've got demon in me now. Also true. Maybe there is some untapped power that could have helped find Connor before, you know, before. Let it out. Let it out. Next time, you call me. Right. I'm so glad they had that conversation. It felt very mature as well. We needed that. Find me a case to work on. Please. He needs that distraction. Dagging and snorting. Well, this dude don't look good, does he? 100 peak smoothies. I think you're not well, sir. You think? It's sucking all the hydration out of him. Angel tried to kill a human, bringing him one step closer to his dark side. Dark side, schmark side. Remember a year ago? Wine cellar. I do. I remember that. Can we stop banging now? Sure. <laughs> Look, he doesn't have to forgive Wesley. <laughs> Glad you think so, because not happening. Right, he, he shouldn't. But isn't there some way to, I don't know come back from this not unless Wes comes back with that baby under his arm which he could do that would be one great way to get back in his good graces grew honey will you do me a favor and dump out this bucket so loyal and loving like a puppy dog a sexy well-built <laughs> go all night puppy dog well you enjoyed your vacation angel what? <gasps> what's going on what was that Literally cracking. One minute you're standing there all shocked looking, then whammo, you're thrown across the I know you. You do? This is the guy that came to the office this morning. Grease face says it all there, like, what the? We're thirsty. We. We're thirsty. Okay, people. Looks like we got a case. We. Glad you're having fun with this. No, we. He kept saying we. <laughs> we. <laughs> we need to talk about my vision. Well, I can wait. No, it can't. Oh, gee, I'm in danger. What else is new? Phil's gonna be the one that throws him, maybe. Mr. Philip Spivey of Inglewood, who came to us this morning for help. He's the one we should be concerned with, not me. This has nothing to do with me. This is all your fault. Maybe not. Holy dies? Does this parasite thing walk across the floor? My fault. That's what the Sandman said. Oh. 
Ew. Big ugly slug thing. Where'd it go? It's vanished. <laughs> Call Cordelia be me. Exactly how do we know that slicing and dicing is gonna do the trick on Mr. Sluggo here? We don't. Fred's gonna hit the books. See what we're dealing with. I am. That was a cl a quick clean up there as well. Now that spell I did was for nothing. I didn't find my son. Would I do it again in a heartbeat because he was my son? I swear there's got to be more things that they can try, no? Because it, it seemed like they, they tried one thing and was like, nope, didn't work, okay. The noise is so gross. Oh, shit. Well, go team. The hell is that? I'm gonna have to box it instead. Some people aren't around anymore. So you're just gonna have to learn to get good at it. Charles is handling the loss of Wesley very well. The noise when you kill it. They're multiplying. And what my <gasps> No. No. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. The senior partners might be upset if Angel died as a result of a spell you helped him cast. Well, bye. <laughs> bye then. Save Angel? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like she she wants him out of her life, but her bosses are like, we've got to protect this guy. He's driving her mad. Honey, we can talk about this. Do not move. It's behind Jake Hardy. Well, gee, forgive me for saving my own life. <laughs> we, we saw it. it. You, you saw, saw it? it? There's more than one? Two, at least. They glow in the dark. How's that supposed to help us unless we shut off all the lights and the holy crap, you're not serious. Is this going to be a scary episode, guys? Because I'm not ready. All the lights? Take this. Lock yourself in the office. We still need answers for it. I don't remember signing up for phasmophobia. Don't tell me it's going to get Fred. No, I knew it as well. As soon as I saw her alone down there, I was like, she's going to, she's going to get it. Fred, it's me. Open up. Uh-oh. Did a quick look around. Make sure no slimies were lurking. Too late, lad. You have to get out of here. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he'll... Fred? Uh-oh. This space is one part hum, two parts dinger. Everything could turn it into a nightclub? Oh, this could be where Lawn sets up. We have a serious problem. Oh, no, Fred. We gotta get her help and we gotta get it fast. Come on, baby, we're gonna get you to a hospital. No, Charles, it... It wants that. Yeah, because it wants to spread. It... It will kill. So if you could all find a cure real quick, that'd be great. What you did, this is your fault. Messing with scary ass mojo, no sane person should be messing with. You do what you want to get what you want. The hell with the consequences. My son is dead. <sighs> Oof, this is getting tense. Here, the sounds, they come from under. <laughs> it's dark under the floor. What? Uh, they move really fast as well. Ew. I'm gonna cook the air, dry it out, make it so uncomfortable for them they won't want in. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Charles! Where's Charles? What? He's gone! And how did that happen? The cleanup crew should be joining you any minute. Now I want everybody waiting for my go. Play your little games. I've got to go save my immortal enemy. Not that I'm questioning your loyalty, Lila, but are you sure that's what Linwood really wants? But he's really, like, messing with her head, isn't he? What did he say, Gavin? Why would you trust what he says, anyway? That he'd deal with you when he got back. I don't know what he meant by that, but... I'm not ahead of the game. He's so smug. Need your help. Oh. Okay. Because Charles knows they need Wesley's brain. No one else is going to say it, so he snuck off. 
He would do anything for, for Fred. So oh, easy. I want to talk to that thing inside of you now. Whoa, she, uh, she decaying fast there. What happened to we? What's with the pronouns, with you wrote? What are you fleeing from? Don't bring her torment. Well, I don't like that name. The Destroyer. Or that one. It is just not the name you want to hear. Same. This Destroyer after you. It's not. It's after you. It's coming after you. The Destroyer. I need to know how to get these slugs out of someone who's been infected. Fred. He's just twigged it. It'll be Fred. Oh, maybe not. You wasted your time. It's Fred. I'll help because it's Fred. But don't come here again. Yeah, they weren't really there to talk to him or ask him. You're gonna die so horribly. <gasps> no, no. Oh my God, she is gonna die. You need to be quick with this. I'll keep mocking fire and slow him down. How do you expect to do that? I'm giving them what they want. Water. I'm gonna flood the hotel. Gordy, I told you to get out of here. <laughs> Gru knows. Gru is sensing it now. Cordy and Angel, they, they have a bond. She requires a healer. No, she requires this. Hold her down. Oh, we didn't even need to do research. He just knew. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, alcohol. <laughs> What's happening? What is, what is that? Unless anyone else has something, let me be the first to say, what the hell was that? You're not first, I'm sorry. I literally just said it. You are truly a goddess. Well, demoness anyway. Beats horns in the tail. Hey, I'm standing right here. <laughs> I remember the destroyers coming. I think now oh of course she's gonna say now <laughs> they bleed now is this now hi dad okay i feel kind of happy with myself because i sort of commented on that didn't i i think i did about the possibility of Connor returning in the future, but when he's grew like when he's grown up, uh, and I got the idea from well, Charmed, because that's what happened with Wyatt. But it does make sense from a writing point of view, like I, I've mentioned in the past, where it's better to have a young actor than a baby on set all of the time. So it looks as though they're going into a bit of time travel now, which I like. He's clearly lived in this dimension that you went through and managed to return but i have no clue how maybe he was just waiting for that opportunity for the destroyer to fall unless he's classed as the destroyer like is the destroyer actually connor i mean i'm assuming it's the monster right because the monster sort of matched that creature thing in a way very small way. It looked like it could have evolved into that, but interesting. Hi, Dad. <laughs> it looked as though Angel kind of sensed it as well. Like the expression on his face was like, wait a minute. <laughs> huh? Is that you, my guy? Uh, I wonder what this guy's going to be like and how old he is and what he's been up to. But like what's happened to Holtz. Did Holtz indeed raise him in this other place or did he just raise himself did aliens raise it I, i've got so many questions but he's back guys but i don't know how long far but there's a possibility as that is him hopefully not a trick by wolfram and heart or or someone else that's just unbelievably cruel uh i mean sajan went to a lot of hassle changed some events through time there could be another big bad doing a similar thing and sort of blagging this whole situation. But hopefully not. Hopefully this is indeed Connor and they can settle with him. That'd be really nice, you know, have some bonding uh, time between Angel and Connor and the whole team, to be honest. Let's quickly talk about Wesley as well. Uh, speaking of 
relationships. I know that I should be angry at Wesley for betraying the group and not confiding in them like he should have done. And I know this is probably an unpopular opinion and I'm in the minority, but I can't hate him. I just can't. I do feel as though he was owed an explanation as to why. Like, at least hear him out. Ask him those questions before jumping to conclusions or anything like that. Just be mature about it and talk, talk it out. Obviously, I don't blame Angel for being angry. I mean, it's his son, for Christ's sake. Like, you're gonna have that heated just anger and aggression straight away because that's blood that's family that's instincts to have that but the other group as well like cordelia hasn't even spoke to him or asked him his side and they were really close charles was just kind of like nah i guess that's it late as wesley which is just so weird to me and yes, I get Connor is such an important factor in all of this. And they all felt betrayal, like even Fred felt that betrayal. But they didn't listen. They just, there was a lot of assumptions there. And even if those assumptions are correct, I still think you should hear it from him when he's capable. Obviously he couldn't talk right there, but he can talk now. And Wesley needed those people within his life there at that time. But again, like, I am playing devil's advocate because I can I can see both sides of things. All I'm saying is, I just can't hate Wesley. I just can't. I think he genuinely thought he was doing what was best. Yes, he was tricked, but he didn't know that. And similar to the comment that I read out in my last reaction at the very end if cordelia was there i do feel as though it could have been different like when cordelia had that honest conversation with angel and vice versa i'm so glad we got that by the way uh but it, it felt good to hear those venting sides like both sides cordelia and angels basically the way i view it is angel kept a secret from cordelia he could have rang cordelia and said this is what's going on i'm sorry any chance you can come back and help the situation that is pretty much what wesley did he didn't go to cordelia when he should have done he didn't go to angel when he should have done he thought he was doing what's best just like angel thought he was doing what's best but yeah it's his son though like it is his son and I get you're not thinking in your right mind when you've just lost something so freaking big in your life as well. And because it was so important, I do feel like Wesley should have opened up. Like, I just think that they're both in the wrong, is what I'm trying to say. They both handled the situation quite poorly. But what matters is how they deal with it after the fact and how they rebuild. Hopefully they rebuild. I mean, Wesley was saying I never want to see her again, but it's quite fresh in his mind isn't it so that might change with time as well and he just knew he just knew what to do with the fact they need him they do he is the knowledge you know he's the brains of the bunch obviously fred's very smart as well but in different fields they each have their strengths and with one gun they're gonna feel that just like they felt it when angel turned dark that's another thing it's like Angel has made so many bad decisions and just gone off on his own so many times. You'd think he would be more forgiving. I think just because it's Connor though, it just comes back to it being his son, doesn't it? No matter which way you try and look at it, it's the guy's son. Oof, it's a rough one. It do be a rough one. Uh, but an enjoyable episode. The, the parasite thing was a bit meh, but the ending holy that was a that was a big ending right there plus the whole stuff with uh is it gavin as well and leela or lila lila the back and forth between them i just find really entertaining it's so dry sarcastic and brutal at times as well like they they love playing the game they really do they both give as good as they get as well and i'm lost like i don't even know what the boss wants at this point is he angry at her or is he grateful for it not being worse than 
what it actually is now because it could have been worse it really could have been crazy crazy episode i do feel for Gru as well you can you can sense something between cordelia and angel there's a lot of history between the two of them and things were just about to get quite heated when Gru rocked up so it was just poor timing and now that Gru is around obviously they enjoyed each other on the vacation Cordelia did by the sounds of it um, but now that they're back uh, in in Cordelia's world in Cordelia's bubble I think Gru can definitely sense a bit of tension there and jealousy when it comes to how Cordelia acts and feels about Angel. Yeah, it's a good episode. I enjoyed it. I'm glad Fred's okay. Thank the sweet lord. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one, guys. I, I really am. Like, this show is getting really freaking good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, give this video a cheeky like. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below because I love to read them. I want to give a massive shout out, as always, to my patrons and a special one to my sponsors because you're really keeping this thing afloat here. So yeah, thank you so freaking much, guys. And I hope to see you again soon for another video. Thanks for watching. But before I completely sign off, let's take a comment from the DAP pack. And today from my 318 reaction, I've chosen Cos. Cos says, first off, how could anyone think you don't read the comments? Don't they watch the entire video? I know. I know, Cos. You're telling me, and clearly they don't. I mean, my analytics definitely tell me that they don't. <laughs> but I'm glad that some do. Some, some, I've had quite a few messages saying that they really enjoy the discussion after like the outro of the review of the episode my thoughts uh, my predictions moving forward so i will keep doing them even if not many people watch them uh, anyway i like that the resolution of this episode is just the hero simply disregarding gun's deal and the bet angel just made they're not obligated to follow the rules when the rules are protecting and empowering evil murderous demons yeah that's that is very true actually cut their heads off <laughs> however many heads they have yes multiple in some cases i like that you added in relaxy taxi as an additional friends reference i can't help it you know i'm fully aware that i do it as well like it just flows out like i can't help it but i just love that show it's like it's just got a piece of my heart and yeah the references are just non-stop they just, it links to too many things okay it's just so good <laughs> but thank you cos as always for watching and till the end as well thank you thank you thank you and don't forget guys if you want to see one of your comments here at the end of my videos because i read them <laughs> please don't forget to leave them in the comment section below and maybe yours will be next but until next time goodbye for now guys